G'day everyone, new video. In this video I've just been doing some welding, welding up the, the tonneau cover clips down the side of the rear quarters and also welding up the fuel filler on the side of the ute and also the modifying the infill panels for the tray. So, hope you enjoy. I've got the ute back on the ground now, which is the old diff under it. It's pretty much just sitting under there. Overall though, the ute's going to sit about an inch. Well, the ride height in the back of the ute's going to be about an inch lower than that, with the big wheels on. So the actual rim, the rim will probably sit about here. So then the whole tyre will be kind of tucked under here. So it's going to look good. So I'm going to start welding these up now. All these holes here. And this one here. So what I've decided to do for this one as well, since it's sort of like a larger, rather, rather large hole, sorry. Um, I'm going to try and cut this out and just weld a flat piece of steel in, probably out of the old tailgate. And what I'm going to use to do this is this thing. It's like a hole punch, hydraulic hole punch, and it cuts like a perfect circle. So. How it'll work is this part here will go on the inside. Other side of the panel pretty well fits perfect. And then that piece, and then the little hydraulic ram, which is just like a little pump handle. You pump that, and that pulls that in as you pump it. I'll show you. I'll give you a couple pumps. When you pump it, it pulls the ram in. And this is designed to cut up to like three and a half mil steel, so it's very strong. So I'm going to give that a go right now. So I've got the ram in there. And that is the hole punch. I know it looks like one of them things that's going to make the metal look like shit after it cuts it but it actually does a pretty good job and all I've got to do with this is pump it Excellent. And there's a nice clean cut hole. And it didn't distort the metal at all. Which is really good. And then once you make a cut with it. There it is. Excellent. Worked out really good. Now just got to get a nice circle and get that in position to fill that in. All right, now we're just going to clean up the paint off here. Thank you. 
do the other side. It's like there's bog in some areas, but still original paint under there, which is kind of odd. Hopefully the rear quarter panel still, rear quarter panel still holds its shape and looks good. All right, I'll set it up for some welding now. Definitely not one for safety, but. When it comes to getting ray burnt, I will put a long sleeve shirt. So how I'm going to do this? I'm going to use a copper plate. I've never done it like this before either. I normally just weld the hole up, but then again, I've always had warping issues. So I'm going to put a glove on, obviously, and I'm going to try and hold the copper plate in behind here hopefully absorb some of the heat and also stop the weld falling in and then just do one hole at a time and then go to the other side we'll see how it goes Now we'll just put the strip disc on, 
We'll have to find a little clean up for the metal. And then I'll bring the camera a bit closer and we can have a look. Have a look. The metal finish turned out really good. But big question is Did it do any warping? No, looks really good. You can't really tell on the camera, but <laughs> less warping is less bogging. There you go. Feels good too. Probably not really going to be able to tell until its whole quarter panel is bare metal. Anyway, I'll keep going with that. Cut out the circle for the fuel cap. So I still got to weld that in, and then it'll just be grinding all the welds off. Let's cut the circle out of the old tailgate. Alright, so I got all this done the other day, welded up all these holes, welded up the um, fuel filler, I had to do a little bit of sort of panel beating work. I want to try and keep the factory body line in this ute, which many will know it goes up through here and then goes down pretty much right through where the oil filler was, the fuel filler, sorry. So, I had to do a little bit of panel beating to that just so I could keep that line. And now I'm going to do the infill panels. I've got to shorten, shorten the rear infill panels down. And I've got to do a little bit of modifying to the front ones. Which I will show you. So that nearly goes on, but as you can see up here, 
it's a little bit out. So I'm gonna have to cut and modify for those. And the back ones. These are just gonna need to get shortened down. So that part should be fairly easy. Just put a slice down the middle and weld it back together. Excellent, I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna put this on a time lapse video. Packed up now. Nice good little tacks. And now I've just got to weld them up and grind the welds down, try to blend it all in. And that's one side done, and then do it to the other side. So it's probably going to be a maybe six hour job this one, I reckon. I had to cut this one in two sections because of the way I did the the front section over there so and that one is just a nice easy just a uh, where is it just a chunk out of the middle that's all that one was quite easy excellent all right that's how they turned out in the end Tried doing some panel beating on this one, but it didn't turn out too good. But I'll try give it, <laughs> as you can see, try give it some hits when I get it put on and just try and get rid of the lumps and shit and bumps. Worst case, I'll just put bog on it. And that's how they turned out on the car. I just decided to use the original one so it'd look a bit more original looking in the tray. As they say, original was best. It actually took me a lot longer than I thought to do that, so let's see what I do the other side. Ta da! Progress is progress. So, next thing for this year will be. Um, when it goes up in the hoist, just finishing up some lower rust repairs and yeah, still waiting on parts. It's forever waiting on parts, it feels like, but 
they're coming slowly. So, and McFry's motor should be coming back next week as well. So, I'll get that in and you know get the car back up and running again and get back out there. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace out.